know about water flow for better firefighter safety. It's often taught that a smooth bore always has the best impact force, but impact force is not based on the type of nozzle. The velocity of that water after it exits the nozzle affects the impact force of the stream. And as we learned in video two, the velocity is a function of the nozzle's discharge pressure. The impact force is directly related to nozzle pressure and doesn't matter whether the stream is delivered from a smooth bore or a combination fog nozzle. When something is moving towards a target, it has a certain amount of momentum when colliding with the target. Momentum equals mass times velocity. Mass is the amount of water exiting the nozzle and velocity is a function of nozzle discharge pressure. The momentum theory shows us that if mass remains the same and velocity changes, the greatest impact with the target is the mass with the highest velocity. This was the testing setup used to observe consistent and repeatable results. We tested this theory using a target flow of 160 GPM with a 7 8 inch smooth bore and three combination nozzles rated at 50, 75, and 100 PSI. The impact force of each nozzle type was measured at 12, 25, and 50 feet. The results were gathered for each nozzle using the same testing method at each distance. To see the full technical report on the impact testing at 12, 25, and 50 feet, be sure to visit tft.com forward slash impact force. Even though it's commonly taught that smooth bores will always have the best impact force, the test results prove that if flow remains the same, the nozzle with the highest operating pressure will have the greatest impact force.